Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be bringing guys a team update video as well as just showing guys some of the players that I'm using as well as some of the synergies I'm using and I thought this video would be kind of interesting for you guys to watch for those people that are building their team and just kind of want to see how my team is looking like a couple weeks into NHL 17. So first of all, you got to excuse my voice. Uh, I've been getting over a cold and I'm kind of on the upswing of getting better and uh Hopefully it doesn't matter too much. It's a little raspy. I can't hit those low notes too well, but hopefully you won't mind it and we can get through this video together. So first of all, I will show you guys my record so far so you can see that uh, my team is actually working out pretty well. I kind of show you like a little sneak peek of some of the players that I'm using. Uh, but let's go to the leaderboards. I really wished uh, they showed you like your uh, your record on the menu system. So. I have to go through the leaderboards to show you guys, but right now I'm 25-2-1. and one. Uh, I'm in Division 5. I just got to Division 5, and uh, honestly, I'm just kind of grinding through the games. I'm just trying to get through them because, you know, the higher divisions, the players aren't too great, and uh, I kind of want to just get into the higher division so I get some more competition, improve my game a little bit because right now I'm just kind of running through people and, I don't know, getting a lot of rage quits as well. So, anyways, let's go through the team, and uh, this team has been built... Because I invested in a lot of players, and you guys know there was like packs released every single day, and uh, it's really hard to like buy low and sell high when you know all the player prices are just plummeting. And uh, the thing is, like they've kind of hit like a rock bottom so far from what I'm seeing. So uh, I kind of just holding on to the players right now, waiting for the packs to go away before I'll probably sell all these players. Maybe do like a trade day, or I'll do some type of live stream and uh, trade these guys away so you guys can see what they go for. Uh, but anyways, this team's worth about two or three hundred k. And uh, this team is working really, really well. And you can see just from the bottom, look at all the synergies. Passing Playmaker, on. Wicked Wristers, on. Speedsters, on. Defensive Responsibility, on. And uh, I mean, I've been really working on the synergies this year. And uh, I feel like it does make a huge difference. And I highly recommend, if you haven't worked on synergies, you should definitely do that. Because, like, you know, even though you might not have your favorite player on the ice... You know, the three or two or three players that you do have that have that synergy and you can complete that synergy, it just makes those players even better. And uh, sometimes you have to make some sacrifices here and there, but it is definitely definitely worth it. So let me go through my first line here. Chris Kreider, Jonathan Taves, and Carl Hagelin. Honestly, the only reason why I have Jonathan Taves on this first line is because I bought him from the marketplace like a week ago for like 140,000 and guys on Xbox One probably know that he's worth like 80 or 90,000 or 90 or 100,000 right now. And I'm kind of just waiting for his price to go up. I don't want to like undersell him too much as well. So I'm kind of just waiting for those player prices to go up. But uh, this line works very well. Uh, Carl Hagelin is a speedster. Chris Kreider is a speedster. Uh, I will go through the synergies a little bit later. I think uh, I, I think that will take too much time if I go through each one. Uh, but on the second line, we got Gustav Nyquist, Doug Gilmore, and Mikkel Bodker. So Doug Gilmore is the, obviously the one that stands out. Uh, Doug Gilmore I bought uh, because his price was plummeting on the marketplace. And I just want to show you guys the synergies on Doug Gilmore. He's got three defensive responsibility points and two passing playmaker points. And it completes two synergies on my team that I couldn't complete before. So he was like the perfect player to add to the team. And he was only like 100,000 coins. And he's one of the best, not one of the best, but like for the for the money for synergy uh, ratio, it's just Doug Gilmore cannot be beat. And I think he has like 90 face-offs as well. Let me quickly sh uh, show you guys. 90 face-offs and his game categories are definitely not too bad as well. He's not the fastest player on the ice, but he gets the job done. And uh, that's what I really like about Doug Gilmore with the synergies and some of the stats he has. Like 91, 92, 92, 91, 92, like... Honestly, just an amazing card to have. Mikkel Bodger, Gustav Nyquist, kind of just giving me that speed. And one thing you will see a lot with in this team is just speed. And a lot of players don't invest in their defenders. If I can beat or just pass by the defenders, I'm pretty much guaranteed a breakaway. And I can score on the breakaways almost like 95% of the time. You know, 5% of the time I'll miss, but... 95% uh, of the time I can do my double backhand or I can do a backhand forehand or do some type of variation of that and I can score a lot of goals that way so speed is definitely the way you want to go for at least this year in my opinion and uh, on the third line we got Michael Gravner, Paul Stastny, Jeff Skinner and you might be wondering why I have Michael Gravner on that third line and honestly he is one of the best players on this team I, I, I wish I could show you guys the stats I might show you after this video but like 
I don't know, something about him. He is super speedy on the ice, and I think it's because of his weight. Maybe he's, like, really light. 6'1", 202. Not really light, actually, but... Also, Jeff Skinner. A little bit more of an expensive card that I wanted to try out that I bought out recently. He's not bad, but he's not, like, amazing either, so... Uh, I'm kind of just investing in some cheap players because my top two lines are kind of expensive. And if you guys watched my uh, centerman video, Paul Stastny, I don't know, like his face-offs, 89 face-offs. And he's just a solid overall player that most people uh, probably should have on their team. Maybe if you had 2 million, you probably don't want to invest in Paul Stastny. But for those people who have like a couple hundred K, he is a, an amazing penalty killer for me on this team. And that's the only reason why I use him on this team is because like... He's got um, 89 face-offs, and same with Jay McClement, he's also got 87 face-offs as well. And these guys are kind of just my uh, penalty-killing lineups, and uh, this, these kind of lineups are just working really, really well. Sean Couturier, Franz Nielsen as well, Team of the Week. And um, I kind of just bought some of these players just to fill out some of the synergies, because I kind of want to just test them out. And you can see here, Sean Couturier, the only reason why I bought him is because he has the, it's a trap synergy which is a team synergy, which gives every single player a certain boost on the whole team, rather than just a single player synergy. Uh, Jay McClement also, the only reason why I have him, he has the It's a Trap synergy as well, which gives the whole team a boost. Uh, Franz Nielsen has the plus two in Wicked Wristers, which kind of evens out the Wicked Wrister synergy category for me. And uh, honestly, he's not that good of a car, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, once another good Wicked Wrister comes out with two Wicked Wrister points, I will definitely sell off Franz Nielsen and get another one. I would highly recommend not to get Franz Nielsen in this game. Uh, but yeah, that's how my offense is looking like. Going on to the defense now, and one thing that I really recommend you invest in is good, or at least fast defenders. And one thing I've noticed is a lot of people have similar teams like mine. They'll have like Carl Haglins, Gustav Nyquist. Alexander Radulov, you know, Mikhail Bodkers, and if you have really slow defenders, I find that this year the players are just very, very groggy when they're trying to turn, and if you have very bad agility on your defenders, you can get beat a lot of the times, and you will be beat on breakaways, and I just hate giving up breakaways goals, and that's like my number one pet peeve in NHL 17. So what I did was, I invested just all my coins in some good defenders, and you see here, Kevin Shattenkirk, Shane Gossespierre, when his price was dropping, you know, I was able to invest in, um, actually Shane Goss's bear I got from a pack, uh, from one of the, uh, not returning user bonus packs, but the pre-order packs. Uh, I, I found out, um, that you need to open up your pre-order packs or you don't get your next batch of packs the next week. So you can't save them up like I said in my last video. I want to save up 30 or 40 packs. That's not possible, uh, in this game. And you have to open them up every single week or you won't get... Your, uh, packs every single week so I opened one up also got I got Shane Goss's bear in one of those packs so that was a nice little pull and uh, most of the other guys I just bought with the coins that I had so Kevin Shattenkirk as well 89 skating only reason why I have him on my lineup Dougie Gil or Dougie Gilmore Dougie Hamilton Ryan McDonough fast defenders gets the job done as well as Ryan Suter and Tyler Myers and one of the players I highly recommend out of all these defenders Shane Goss's bear is pretty nice because he does have two synergy points. He's got the uh, defensive responsibility and one point for the shot blocking, which I'm not using. But uh, he is a very, very fast defender that gets the job done. All the other defenders, Kevin Shattenkirk is pretty good. Ryan McDonough is like your overall just good defender. Dougie Hamilton scores those goals from the points. Myers, once again, just a big guy that can go score goals from the points. And Ryan Suter is one of the best defenders on this lineup that is worth so little on the marketplace right now. He's like 28 or 29k on the Xbox One market. And that 92 defense, I want to check his poke checking because like, I feel like every time I have him on the ice, my poke checking is just off the charts. Uh, does it say here his poke checking? I'm probably just missing it right now. Uh, I cannot see it from, from the first glance. So anyways, Ryan Suter just feels like he has a very good... Uh, poke check and one of the things is I can use utilize poke checks very well in this game And most of the people cannot get by my line of defense on the blue line Which makes playing offense a lot easier and you see as well all my defenders are swapped the opposite position So my right defenders are playing on the left side my left defenders are playing on the right side And it just makes uh, shooting the puck from the point a lot easier and uh, one thing I found like if you can shoot the puck from the point with those one-timer slap shots most of the time people can't 
get, uh, don't have the agility to get to that spot quick enough when I'm shooting the puck. And I can score goals far aside from the point, all the way from the blue line, so easily. It doesn't go in every time, but it at least helps me diversify my offensive game. And that's how I've been scoring a lot of goals. It's just playing, uh, passing to my defenders and letting them do D to D passes and just shooting the puck from the point. And it's honestly such a good strategy to use. Anyways, that's my offense and defense. Sorry about my voice as well. It's starting to give out. Uh, you can see here my... Uh, Coach here is Boris Ivansky, and the only reason why I have him is because he has the tape-to-tape -tape, um, synergies. You can see here, in goalie, I have Pekarine and Peter Morazic, and those guys have the It's a Trap synergy, which gives some bonus points to the synergies. And I want to show you guys exactly what players are in each synergy and why I kind of like using them. So first of all, Passing Playmaker. Honestly, I had a couple of players that I really wanted to use on my team, like Paul Stastny and Gustav Nyquist. And honestly, passing playmaker isn't a huge deal to me. I, you don't see a huge difference in you know the plus three bonus to passing points and offensive awareness. But uh, we also have wicked wristers, and uh, honestly. I just had to fill out that point or fill out those synergies because I had Jonathan Taves as a wicked wrister. I had uh, Jeff Skinner as a wicked wrister. Franz Nielsen, the only reason why I bought him is because he had those two points in wicked wrister just to uh, kind of complete that synergy. And uh, the most important, I think, is the speedster one, which I think a lot of you guys should invest in because, like, uh, plus two bonus to acceleration, speed, and agility for already fast players. Like, it is so overpowered in this game. I can't stress that enough. Chris Carter, Carl Hagelin, Michael Mikhail Bodker, and uh, Michael Grabner. Honestly, I've tried out a lot of speedster cards in this game. Uh, more, more, specific, more specifically, the cheap speedster cards. And those are the best ones, in my opinion. I know there's some other speedster cards out there, but I just did not enjoy them as much as those ones. Uh, obviously, I have not tried any of the Hut Heroes or any, any of the Team of the Week you know, really fast guys, but honestly, those four guys are solid players that you guys probably should uh, try out if you have the coins to do it. Defensive responsibility, uh, Shane Gossesbear, Dougie Gilmore. Only reason why I have it is because, like, you know, I had Shane Gossesbear on the team, and Dougie Gilmore had three defensive responsibility points. It kind of just evened out the team just a little bit. And the most important, like, all those synergies don't really matter except the speedster. Uh, the most important ones are the team synergies, in my opinion, and that gives the, a whole team a bonus, and that's why I really want to invest in. And uh, you can see here, Kevin Shattenkirk, Dougie Gilmore, Ryan Suter, Boris Ivansky gives every single player on my team plus three bonus to passing, offensive awareness, and poise. And although I can't like necessarily see it on the ice, uh, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have that you know bonus stats on the whole team. It's kind of like having a captain card kind of on your whole team, but not really. Uh, so it does maybe help in it a little bit. Maybe it helped me score an extra goal or help me connect with those cross crease passes. I don't know, but uh, having every player with plus three bonus for those stats, definitely cannot complain about that. Shot, shot blocking, honestly, I just have that one point of the six points for Shane Gostas Bear because he has an extra point there. I don't have any other players with team shot blocking. I don't think it's that important of a synergy anyways. There's also, it's a trap, and I found that this one was kind of like the most important one in my opinion, because this style gives every player plus three bonus to stick checking, defensive awareness, and, uh, and discipline. And uh, one thing I really like doing in this game is stick checking, and that's one of my strengths, especially in NHL. I'm really good at stick checking, and so it makes it really hard for people to play against me, because like, if you, if you try to deke around me, I, I'm not going to let you do that. Like, I will stick check as much as possible and try to get that perfect poke on you and uh, having that plus three bonus to every single player on the team like that is my go-to synergy and um, I definitely invested a lot into that synergy because you guys can see I have Sean Couturier out of all people on my lineup I have Jay McClement at 83 overall on, on my team as well and uh, I have players like Peter Morazic as well all the other players are pretty good on that synergy but uh, I had to invest into Jay McClemon and Sean Couturier on this team because if I didn't do that, there's no other uh, It's a Trap synergy players that are good on the marketplace. So uh, if there is one in the future, I might replace them. But so far, It's a Trap synergy is one of my favorites and one of my go-tos for sure in NHL 17. So that's pretty much it for my team update. Uh, I talked about my team. I talked about uh, my record. 
And um, yeah, that is just about it for this uh, team update. Kind of wanted to show you guys how my team's looking like, and maybe that'll interest you guys, maybe buying some cheap players on the marketplace that I am using that I'm finding a lot of success with. So uh, one thing I want to uh, add before I end this video is that I said I was going to do like a Road to Glory series on this channel. And the more I kept editing and uh, pre-recording all this uh, footage, I just, I'm so bad with recording post commentary, like on videos. I'm so bad with uh, recording commentary on stuff I already pre-recorded. I'm, I, as you guys know, I'm a commentator that can commentate on the fly. Uh, I, I, I can commentate on the fly uh, very well. But when it comes to commenting over stuff already recorded, I'm, I'm just terrible at it. And it's really actually stressing me out quite a bit. I'm thinking I'm just going to scrap the Road to Glory series because I'm just so shitty at it. And I'm, I'm probably just going to uh, do some type of like hot roulette type of series. Although I don't have that many coins, I'm probably going to do some type of variation like a Your Ultimate Team or something along the lines of that. Uh, but anyways, I, I just want to let you guys know what I'm doing with series because I feel like I need to find a way to engage you guys. Uh, other than just posting out a video of just, you know, like how to like best face off takers, how to make coins videos. Those are nice videos to get viral, but they aren't necessarily videos that uh, will keep you guys coming to watch, right? You guys want to see a, probably a series that you guys can keep watching and find interesting day, every day if you see it in your sub boxes. So that is something that is my on my main priority list. Get a series out for you guys to watch. But uh, right now I'm pretty busy with school. Tests and assignments are coming up, but when I do have free time, you guys will definitely see some more videos from me, for sure. So, that's about it, guys. I know this video was kind of long. Yeah, hopefully, you guys stuck all the way to the end of this video. Probably a lot of you guys won't, but uh, for those guys that watch it hardcore, uh, definitely thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.